Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so uh, we have Scorpio Sun, Moon and as well uh, Rising at our hands and the first thing that we are going to uh, look at is going to be in terms of our career, uh, our relationship, I'm sorry, a, a love and relationship uh, throughout the week that it is, uh, that it is coming guys and uh, let's see what we got. So the first one uh, we have is going to be the Knights of Wands uh, moving next, uh, that is to be the World card, uh, followed by uh, the Two of Swords. <sighs> and the last one, uh, that will be the Five of Pentacles. So uh, it's pretty clear here by those cards, it is that throughout the week itself, we are to be confronted with all the issues. We do have either with exes or with last or with a previous uh, people of interest and, and basically uh, it will be uh, in regards to why things haven't worked out and what can we do in order to make things work out and if that's even possible in order to uh, in order to do it. So the whole thing about the reading here, it is that we should not scratch out unfulfilled possibilities or unfulfilled potentials uh, that we have uh, that we have severed with um, in in the recent past and even in the distant past as well uh, because it's all about experimenting okay it's all about walking out or kind of like bursting out of our shell and considering you know options available in terms of resolving issues that we do had in between one another in a brand new way a way that does not exist within our framework of life nor it does exist into the framework of life um, of our uh, of our partner or of our ex or you know of of, of our missed opportunity uh, back in the days and why is that? Well, because whatever happened in between us, and I'm saying us because I'm a Scorpio as well, whatever happened in between us and that person, uh, we share guilt. Uh, it's it's pretty much, uh, pretty much that's about all that there is to it, okay? Because before we render judgment upon if one thing it's, uh, it's, it's uh, how can I say, mm, right or wrong, or it's righteous or not, we need to keep in mind that there is always more than one way to look at something. And, and the way we look at, at one problem or one issue, uh, it's one angle of the situation. And our partner or kind of like our ex or our previous person of interest looked at it from a completely different angle. So it all comes to that, can we place ourselves 
into their shoes and see things from their perspective and actually realize that those perspectives overlap at a certain remnant of, of surface and use that surface to be a common ground from there to make things working out, if we so want, okay? Or we are going to pretty much skip that opportunity and try to find a something new. Now, that is entirely, entirely our decision. It is just the tarot cards here are advising you to give it one last chance and try to pretty much uh, make it work. Because with the Knights of Wands, uh, the week itself is going to be very enterprising week giving us uh, a lot of unexpected opportunities to fix the things around opportunities that we did not had a uh, back in the days and uh, using those means actually uh, we'll we as a uh, as a couple will be able to ensure a secure future for ourselves and uh, the best way how we can do so is by opening our eyes to understand that we can rely to that person for almost everything. And that counts more than anything in this world. I mean, integrity, loyalty and trust counts more than anything, uh, more than anything else. So if we are capable to see that, then I think that we are to find a strength to forgive. We are to find a strength to give a one last chance there uh, that in that that is in um, how can i say so how this thing really plays out for already established relationships it is as a old issues does resurface there you know things that you probably forgot about that you have argued argued with your with your wife or a husband or with your uh, partner in life uh, uh, few months ago, maybe a couple of years ago, and now they are re-immersing and you kind of have to put them aside for good by resolving them instead of neglecting them. And obviously those which are single, uh, pretty much that, that reading here speaks for a appearance of a either a old person of interest that things did not happen around or a uh, ex that's, you know, it's not biased at that particular point but it is entirely up to you both to make the things work out, which is very, very possible. Uh, and the cards are encouraging you to try it one last time. So that was about our relationship life. Now let's have a look what we are to experience in terms of a career. So the first one in terms of career is going to be the uh, King of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Star card, followed by uh, the Queen of Wands. And the last one is going to be the Seven of Swords. Well, a truth be told is a mess. Okay, uh, it's pretty much what uh, the reading itself points to. It is that uh, our investments uh, in terms of career, that under investments, I mean a personal time involvement, you know, money as well. We can't really hope that they are to be, um, that they are going to have return uh, in the long run. So uh, it's highly encourageable throughout the week to make a, a fast return investment. Uh, into a fast uh, uh, earning money project, you know, a one-time jobs and this kind of stuff. For example, if you do have a private business investing into as a, uh, a one-week sale, for example, of a service is going to serve you much more than trying to establish a, a long-term service because uh, it's not like it's not going to pay off. It's just it's not going to pay off according to your standards and to your expectations. That is if you are trying to establish it this week. Okay, 
Uh, now, good thing it is that we are gonna have the acute sense of what the clients or what our boss or supervisor or how can I say, you know, the people that we are working for and working with and working by are expecting from us to do. And that combined with the, with the acute business sense that we are going to have, we really are going to be able to cash in uh, quite uh, quite well throughout the week. And once again, that is if we do invest into a short-term profit project rather than a, a long-term profit a, uh, agendas. Um, the only poignant thing that I can see in this reading is for those who are working for a salaries, okay? And uh, the thing with them is, is that they are going to make quite a bit of good money for for the owner of the company and uh, from their boss, for their boss, for their CEO and so on and so forth. It is just, if they do not cry about it, uh, pretty much the whole thing is going to be uh, treated with a silent treatment and you are just gonna get your salary, no bonuses whatsoever. That is unless you do not storm the situation, stand for your own personal rights, show that you do have a strong backbone and demand for what you have been owed, all right? Uh, so, uh, just to summarize all that, Scorpio, we ha we should not restrain ourselves of investing our either time or money. It is just this week. We should kind of like invest more into, once again, a short-term profits rather than a long-lasting one. And short-term profits, they are usually not as profitable as a long-lasting ones, but, you know, it, it is what the energy of the week, it is a uh, showing. Now those that are a uh, looking for job here, uh, the cards are actually quite uh, quite good. Uh, it's pretty much points of a uh, that if you are to start the job throughout the week, it is not like the job is going to um, kind of like lay you off or is going to be a bad job. It is just you are going to be very fast into uh, surpassing the demands and the expectations of the job. And what happens at the end, it is that you will want more, but the job itself at its very peak will won't be able to offer you as much as you want. So that will force you to look for another job, but not because you are disappointed from the current one, but because you have accomplished the maximum of it and you still can go for more. Okay, so it's, it's a very good reading for those that are looking for a job and are actually willing to, uh, are capable to secure one throughout the week. Now you need to know as well that the job will have a certain demands from you. It will require from you a certain investments like time, you know, like like personal efforts as well. Probably you will have to work overtime, but you are to be compensated for it. The job is going to be generous, but as well also a uh, demanding. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our a weekly tarot reading in terms of a love and uh, love and career. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then. Bye.